Well, hi folks, sorry I've been away for a while. Here's uh, a MiG-15 from Free Plans. These are at the RCME and uh, this month, which is October. And uh, I thought you uh, might like to see what I've done to build up a, a CAD model from the plans. Uh, the main thing is just basically do it like you would in real life. So create the formers, I've created a spine and now I'm going to jig them all out so uh, I create a plane for each of the frames and copy over the uh, the drawings of each of the um, each of the frames individually and uh, just do those one at a time just paste it copy it off the main sheet paste it into the new sketch on the new plane and then reorientate it appropriately then we loft the outside and inside of the fuselage and that's there and now we're onto the fin so the fin's just a, a flat piece with some um, fillets around it. Oh, yeah. And then uh, similar for the wing. So the wing, uh, again, just a sketch. So these uh, diagonal planes are to allow me to put some cuts in to put the chamfers on the leading and trailing edges. So uh, they all go through and uh, there's just a bit of fiddling around now just to get those all those uh, chamfers and everything tidied up then uh, once we've done that I think the next thing is the uh, horizontal tail so again the tail surface and the uh, control surface pushed in there on both the wing and the tail surface I've um, extended it slightly so when I uh, place the model of the wing as we are doing now and the tail down onto the, the main model it will penetrate and it will connect so as you can see I've mirrored that through now once we've got all that together it's onto the canopy which is always fun um, so uh, how we do that is just uh, use the drawings as you would in real life um, so create some profiles bend some sketches around and create a 3D model rotate it and drop that on the airframe and there you go really, I mean that's a really fast blast through pulling one of these together. There's probably the oh, best part of half a day's worth of work there, plus me remembering how to do it all of course. And um, as you can see, so that's faithful to Tony Ninjas' design that was in RCME this month. And uh, obviously that's just the outer mould line ready and I'll need to start working around fitting servos and the fan and everything else so there you go hope you enjoyed that um, so this is uh, CNC Modeler uh, thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe to my uh, videos uh, it all helps and uh, I'll see you next time cheers